Hi, members everywhere. Adam Hewison here. Starting off with crude oil. You probably saw the crude oil dip below $80. It's not a news story, but the reality is the trend has been very, very persistent in this market. And one of the reasons I think it's been so persistent is that cars are actually getting a lot more mileage. My new car that I have gets over 30 miles a gallon, whereas my other car uh, was only getting somewhere like 20. So it doesn't mean I'm driving more. I just have to spend less time going to gas stations. And that may be one of the key reasons why this market's gone down. But let's look at this market just for a moment and see what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. And I think that's the important thing. Well, first of all, we're sort of locked in sort of a, a box here, just, just right here. This is where the market sort of traded. Uh, we need to get out of this box, either by going to the downside, which I'm not so sure we're going to see, or we need to break out on the upside but sooner or later this market's going to happen and move in a direction but for the for the most part our trade triangles continue to be negative and that's what we're going to rely on minus 90 is a strong downtrend period the only thing that could be changing here and I want to emphasize this and I'll scope this down a little further so you can see is the MACDs really begin to flatten out and reflect this sideways action I think if we get a crossover here could be the beginning of a trend or at least we put in a bottom but for now the trend is your friend okay let's take a look at the Dow as you can see the Dow had a pretty sharp fall this is a lot of to the Ebola scares you name it panic whatever you want to call it but we've came back like gangbusters last week one of the best weeks we've ever had in the stock market so I want to measure exactly how far we've come back so I'm going to use my Fibonacci tool which is right here you click it once shows you a little yellow box here and how you use this tool is very very simple you just click on the top the highest point you can find and then drag it down to the lowest point you can find okay so here's the highest point here's the lowest point and you see these numbers here 23.6 38.2 50.0 and 61.8 a little harder to see but the reality is these are all Fibonacci retracement levels and once you get into the 61.8%, that's really considered, for the most part, thin air. Now, what's going to happen at these levels is going to be very, very interesting. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But what I do know is that our trends, both major and intermediate, are negative right now. Even though the market's come back, we may just turn down from these levels, which I would not be surprised to see happen. So let's see how that plays out. Let's clear the screen and go to our next market. Pretty much the same picture here, only this market's come back further than the Fibonacci first thought. Click here, drag it down, and you can see this has exceeded the 61.8% retracement, which is in some ways a positive thing. But it's still, we have our trade triangle still negative, both weekly and monthly. Want to see some more backing and filling before we can get excited about this market, either on the upside or the downside. For the moment, it's still in a trading range. A minus 55 indicates a trading range for the S&P 500. The one thing that is positive is the fact you've moved back over the 50 line, indicating the trend may be turning up. On the NASDAQ, let's put our Fibonacci in there again. We're going to go for the highest point we see, drag it down to the lows. Similar picture there. You've gone beyond the 61.8% retracement, Fibonacci retracement indicating that things may be changing plus you've gone over the 50 line indicating that the trend is potentially moving up so we're going to watch this very carefully because we could be seeing a reversal back to the upsides and a swing back into positive trends but we want to watch this very carefully the indices by the way are much more difficult in many ways to analyze simply because they're made up of so many different stocks and stocks get dropped new stocks get put in so it's really not what I consider like trading a stock or a pure market it's it's a compilation of many many things S&P 500 of course is 500 stocks Dow is 30 stocks and so on and so forth let's move on this is looking at gold and gold as you can see sort of we've seen a little bit of a reversal our daily is really out of the market from 1235 it's 1229 indicating that we're out trading range again a little bit careful we're back down to support level at 50 maybe we'll see gold so bring in some support around these current levels but uh, we'll see but you can use the Fibonacci for just the reverse and I'll show you how that works so you click here click on the highest point drag it down and that shows you pretty much where the support level should be in gold 
1218 is a 50% retracement and 1210 is a 61.8% retracement. And I may just stop here. We'll see what happens. But generally speaking, back in the trading range, a lot of these markets are in trading ranges, so you've got to be careful. This is the dollar index. This is still very positive. It's a plus 55, but the trend is still clear. You're coming down to support level on the 50 level on the RSI. So I think this market's going to continue moving higher after it's taken a breather for a while. This is Apple. We talked about Apple last week. It's clearly, we're at new highs. Market's doing very well in our opinion. I think the stock, if you're a little more patient, is going to go to a $140, $150 a share. The Apple Pay, which we'll be talking about tomorrow, is definitely a driver of revenue for Apple. And I think they're going to pull this off. So plus 100 indicating a very strong trend. We discussed Alibaba last week. You can see it's making new highs today. Uh, still like this stock, even though it hasn't traded that long, but the potential is very, very positive for Alibaba in our opinion. So plus 100, trend this up. I think we're going to see this market do, at least trade to 100, maybe even higher in the short term. Facebook is another stock we like. However, this is a little bit concerning today. You've got an outside day, meaning the potential, uh, if we close lower tomorrow, this is a potential top for this market. But nonetheless, our trend is very strong, plus 90. We expect this market to do better. So see how we're doing. Let's wrap it up for the day. But you can see we've got a lot of green on the board and a lot of red. So be careful. These are trading markets, and you should be very, very cognizant of that fact. Hey, I'm Adam Hewison. Thanks for stopping by Every Success. And be sure to join us on our Q&A section and ask us questions about the market or tell us what you think about the markets. It's available every day, seven days a week. Have a great trading day, everyone.